shit go crazy. What's going on, my good folks? It's your man, your guy, your boy. 1127 Kicks. I hope everybody out there is having a great day, an amazing day, and overall blessed day. Say, man, if you're new to the channel, do your boy a huge favor. Hit that like button. Go ahead and subscribe to the page. And if you're already with the movement, bro, I greatly appreciate you, man. Hit that like button. Share this video. And let's go ahead and keep this page growing. Before we get started, man, make sure y'all go ahead and shop with a Halo hey, Apparel, man. As you see the hat on my head, the link to their website is in their bio, man. Dope merchandise hoodies hats affordable pricing high quality as well man so make sure y'all go ahead and tap with them and thank y'all for all the support that you give your boy now with that being said right there man february 12th for a retail price of 190 of them things february 12th is next saturday we have these air jordan 5 racing blues that are dropping now y'all already know if you've been tapped in your boy done did the copper drop video on this shoe a few weeks back this shoe is now uploaded on the sneakers app man so with with this shoe being almost a week out we about to go ahead and do this how to cop video man so sit back relax and enjoy the video so going over this shoe real quick guys you can see nothing too crazy with the shoes very nice shoe in my opinion all black air jordan 5 that's that black suede that you're going to get on there and then on top of that you had those racer blue hints throughout the shoe as well you got that silver tongue on there and you already know air jordan 5 tongues are all 3m and then you had that racer blue jump man on the tongue as well you got that icy you know the netting on the shoe that nice icy netting on the shoe you got that racer blue jump man on the back and of course you got that nice icy blue bottom on this shoe as well this is definitely a fire shoe in my personal opinion i do not think this shoe was ugly at all and i think it's a really good air jordan 5 now if you watch my cop jordan my copper drop on this video i definitely said it really reminded me of you know the air jordan 5 grapes like i said when i see the air jordan 5 with that all black suede upper, my mind is always gonna go to grapes, man. So hopefully we could get those Air Jordan 5 black grapes soon. But you know, with that being said right there, man, we finna go ahead and hop into this resale because I know that's what everybody really cares about, man. So as you can see on StockX, bro, on StockX, this shoe is going for a pretty penny. Now, mind you, we're still a week out from getting this shoe, so prices will fluctuate. But as of right now, any shoe, that you get right now in any size is looking like it's gonna be $300 and up. So you're honestly looking at a $100 profit, man, $120, $150 profit, just depending on the size. Of course, you know that size seven is gonna be something. Now you might see that six and a half on there. Six and a half is not a men's size, so I don't even consider that. I'm talking about all men's sizes and that started at a size seven. So that size seven is always gonna be that, that one that really pops, man. You know, then after that, you feel me? Like I said, everything is like $300 and up. You really can't lose when it comes to this shoe right here as of right now you dig what i'm saying it looks like this shoe is going to be a very profitable shoe but we'll get into that later man and as you see on goat same thing this shoe is 300 and up you're looking at a 150 dollar profit when it comes to the shoe as of right now as of right now you know according to with StockX and goat what they are saying once again this shoe is a week from being out but but the prices are looking like right now, man, I don't see them dipping down too much as release date comes around, just in my personal opinion. Now, when a release date comes around, I really feel like, you know, that size seven is gonna be really good and the, those bigger sizes in the uh, Air Jordan 5s always do well. Now, of course, you know, when the shoe first come out, the resale is gonna be up there, man. Some people gonna take L's. Now, I do think this shoe will be widely available. It's coming in full family sizing. But some people might take them L's, man, and they're going to pay whatever they need to pay to actually get the shoe. Then on top of that, it is tax time. So resellers, they do know that. They know people got the hot hand. And, you know, the prices might prices might be up there a little bit. But I feel like, you know, if you don't hit on the shoe immediately, I one, I feel like there will be a restock. And two, I feel like if you just, you know, chill out and coast, I feel like that price will dip down. I feel like that price could dip down to like a... 275 300 dollars range man i definitely i wouldn't pay 400 dollars for the shoe because after taxes on stock case and goat that's what you're looking at paying almost like 400 dollars for the shoe i wouldn't do that personally man i just let the prices you know kind of dip down let it mellow out because there are other shoes that's coming out this month and this shoe will fall through the cracks and they'll lower down and you'll be able to get it if you really want it now i will have a store list up as well man as you can see this shoe is dropping in a variety of places bro a lot of places like i said before you got nike you got champs Foot Locker, dtlr you feel me um 
Dick Sporting Goods is actually getting the shoe. And when Dick Sporting Goods gets the shoe, that's how you know this shoe was widely available. You know, your hip sports is going to get this shoe as well. So, you know, it's really no losing, you know, as far as, you know, how many places there's out there to actually get this shoe. Now, with this being a week out, man, I'll definitely say start tapping in with your stores, man. Like, January was a very quiet month, but February is not going to be a quiet month, man. So start tapping in with them stores, see if they're doing those raffles or anything of that nature, man. And on top of that, next week, that's when you'll see the reservations start to open up as far as the Flex app goes. If I'm not mistaken, like status, from what I've been seeing, they almost been doing like exclusive access, you know, every Monday. So be on the lookout for that as well. If you, you know, if you fool with status, man, they might be giving out exclusive access to this shoe as well. Now, all these shoes will be, not, not all these shoes, but all these stores will be dropping this shoe online at 10 a.m. Eastern time. Now, of course, they will drop in the stores, but I'm talking about online. If you're not going to the store, you wanna buy online, this shoe will drop 10 a.m. Eastern time. Now, with that being said right there, I'm in Texas. So if I wanted to get the shoe, I gotta be on these websites. You know, I'll be on there like 8.30 or something like that or whatever, just, you know, so I won't get caught up in the queue. But because it's 8.30 here, that means it's 9.30 on the East Coast. You feel what I'm saying? Or 9.30 and it's like in georgia and stuff like that so if you're in california you know what i'm saying this shoe's gonna drop at 7 a.m you know if you're in texas that area this shoe's gonna drop at 8 a.m so don't be one of those people that's like oh it drops at 10 a.m and you wake up 10 a.m your time the shoe's gonna be gone i guarantee you that so that's one thing that you don't want to do man is going off of easter time zone so make sure you always have that you know as a mental note in your head one thing to know as well, if you're going to try to cop this shoe off a of sneakers app, man, and you're using multiple devices, they all cannot be on the same Wi-Fi. Why? I mean, not Wi-Fi, but yes, Wi-Fi. But Nike will cancel your order. Nike will most definitely cancel your order if they're all on the same Wi-Fi. It shows the same IP address and everything like that. Nike is going to consider that as it being a bot, and they're going to cancel your orders. So you definitely got to be careful about that. And two, from what I'm hearing, Nike really hasn't been using FedEx and UPS like that they be using some other shipping company and they what I've been told like this company be jugging people for their shoes man so in my personal opinion I'll be a little iffy when it comes to actually shopping on the sneakers that when it comes to this release date for this shoe that's just me personally because like I said before it's a lot of people that saying that I forgot the name of this uh for this company but they be taking people's stuff man so definitely be on the lookout when it comes to that bro for real for real. now you might get lucky you might get UPS you might get FedEx and you're good to go but if you get that other one I forgot the name of it I can't think of it right now oh be careful be careful bro for real for real man but overall like I said before man this is a shoe that's gonna be widely available it's an Air Jordan 5 man and once again, with Air Jordan 5s, it's not everybody's favorite shoe, not everybody's favorite silhouette. This is, is a dope colorway. This is a fire colorway, man. So definitely be on your P's and Q's when it comes to getting this shoe. But like I said, I feel like it's going to be widely available, most definitely. And then a week later, then a couple of days later after that, we got to do Dark Marina Blues. Some people might pass on this shoe for the Marina Blues. The week after that, then the following Saturday, the Carnal Reds are coming out, the Air Jordan 3s. Some people might pass on, you know, this shoe because they want to get that shoe so with that being said man i really feel like there's a good chance that you actually get this shoe now let me know how y'all feel about this shoe in the comment section below let me know if this video was informational for y'all man and i greatly appreciate y'all bro and with that being said y'all already know how we finna end the video off if you search for good you shall find a favor if you search for evil it shall find you proverbs 11 27 and we walk in faith and not by sight. For what is seen is temporary, what is unseen is forever. I live by that. I stand by that, man. Y'all stay blessed. Y'all stay safe. And it's your boy, 1127 Kicks. And I always remember, bless your feet with something. Who did hit me up and told me shit on these niggas? Cause these niggas out here came at you going, showing the different. Keep on dropping all of that shit that made you for want to listen. You know these niggas ain't fucking telling. Get out of here.